Hey there, it's Emily again, here to talk about the next part of Modern Cellist Manual, where I address some of the larger issues governing the way you move the bow. Um, the first part of the chapter, I talk a little bit about do's and don'ts on how to hold the bow. I'm just going to leave that to another time. It's too difficult to address in this short, compressed time frame. So, the thing I'd like you to take away in this is the way you govern the arm. I like to think about the lower half of the bow being governed by this L shape. I'm exaggerating just a little. And then once you get to roughly the midpoint, it could be a little bit closer to the frog, it could be a little closer to the tip, depending on how long your arms are. Then, once you get past that point, the bicep stays largely isolated and you work by opening your elbow and then closing the elbow to return. So if I were to take a long bow stroke, you can see. Another thing to think about is the way you cross strings. One of the most common complaints of cello students is that playing on the C isn't so bad. But when we go over to the A, oh, it's uncomfortable and you get angles going and you get bad sound and it's no fun. So instead of thinking about the A string, first of all, it's really close. If you look here, it's three inches away. It's not a big distance. But also, if you come to the midpoint of the bow, if you think about the A string, instead of being up, like you're going to expose your armpit, instead, think about bringing the bow forward in space. Now I am again exaggerating a little bit because I am ending up with a tiny bit of angle. In general you want the bow fairly parallel between the bridge and the fingerboard. But do some practice coming straight across and you can keep your, your I was going to say elbow, you know, keep your elbow neutral. Keep your shoulder neutral. That stops all of this, the discomfort, the pain, and then you keep your bow position uh, the same as well because it's, it's such a shame, students get a great bow grip, and then if they do something crazy with their arm, you can't keep that beautiful bow grip that you just worked so hard for. So, two things to think about. Play with the arm and keeping this L shape in the lower half, L for lower, kind of like sawing, and then work on opening and closing the elbow in the upper half of the bow. Then, when you're moving from low to high, come forward instead of up. Okay? See you next time.